Hello, I'm Laurel House. I'm an international dating coach and relationship expert on Ease Famously Single. Gifting is very difficult when it comes to dating. Regardless of if it's the holidays, Valentine's Day, or birthday, there is so much stress around what to give, how much to spend, and how much you're investing in this gift. So while this video is holiday oriented, it can definitely be used whenever you need to give a gift. So what's the gifting protocol? How much do you spend? What do you give? What if you don't know each other well enough to know really what their style is, really what they want, or even what they need? You can still get them a gift that they're going to love, that's going to mean something to them, and that will make them know that you really put some thought into this. More than anything else, your gift should be thoughtful. Since we are talking about the holidays, you can ask them about their favorite gifts that they've gotten during the holidays. What has really touched them? What has been really memorable? What has been like the most ridiculous and not a good way gift that they've received? Do they value experiential gifts, the gift of time, or a certain type of present? This doesn't mean that you need to say, so what do you want me to give you for the holidays? But if you listen, if you have conversations, if you pay attention, you'll be able to come up with something that you'll know they'll at least like something that there is a high chance that they may even love. So what exactly do you give? The gift of time and shared experiences can be the most cherished gift of all. And it's a great way to connect with each other. You're doing something together. Don't just give some random experience or one that you really want. Make sure that you give them something that they are going to want and something that you guys can do together and enjoy together. When you give the gift, you also need to write a card that explains the itinerary and then the why, why you're giving this to them. The gift is threefold. One, the wrapped present. Two, the activity. And three, the card. All right, so what do you give? For your new boyfriend. Now, I am talking to women about guys, but guys, you can also use the same kind of strategy for girls. Okay, so for you, your new boyfriend, you just started dating officially and you aren't dating anyone else. You consider him someone who has real potential and you want to explore that real potential. Don't buy him anything that's too much or too expensive. So too much in terms of too expensive, too sentimental, or too intrusive in his life. Give him something sweet and thoughtful and also low key. This is an opportunity to show him that you are more than just a for fun girl. You're more than just sexy and exciting. Show him that you should also be considered as someone who has real potential. Show him that you want to care for him and take care of him. Make him dinner. Of course, you want to have something wrapped up and under the tree or presented to him, and that's going to be the cooking equipment, as well as the holiday card that describes the experience, because that's what really makes it special. So the card. It could be, um, you know, let him know how taken care of and cared for he makes you feel. Let him know that you want to do the same thing for him, but in your own way. Then include that invitation to dinner, which will include the date, time, location, and the menu if you'd like, unless you want the menu to be a surprise. So then the menu, which is going to be in the card. You're going to have an appetizer. So I love this book, Cravings, by Chrissy Teigen. It's her relationship is super sexy, and it just makes me want to have that sexy relationship. They have great apps in here. Um, so that's a gift you can give. Then you're going to make pizza or burgers. They're simple. They can be prepared ahead of time, so you can actually enjoy the evening. And so you're going to need, seriously, you're going to need a Cuisinart for the pizza dough. And uh, if you're going to do burgers, then you're going to need a Griddler. Um, you can also go to the Cuisinart website. They have a fantastic dough and pizza recipe by Hubert Keller, who is an amazing chef. So you can include all of that information in the card because you want to impress. Um, so then you're also going to need uh, this pizza mat or else it's going to look, your pizza is going to look completely amateurish. Um, so it shows you exactly what you need and then ideas of toppings and it ends up making it the pizza making really fun. You can have uh, heart shaped ice to make the drinks super special and a cool goblet um, because again this is all about the gifts and then what you're gonna put 
the drinks under. This is one of my favorite things. Okay. So Christian Lacroix, I don't know if you're familiar, but it's he's a designer. He makes amazing clothes and shoes and bags and everything. And he makes coasters, which are really interesting. And these are coasters called Love Who You Want. And each one is different. And you kind of don't know what you're going to get, but it's a, they end up being a whole person. And, uh, my gosh, aren't they great? So these are also great gifts for like your quirky sister or something, but really fun. So then these are your special coasters moving forward. And whenever you end up having a dinner together, you're going to be able to look at these coasters and put your drink down and have that little special memory from the gift that you gave him. Okay, next your new love. There are plenty of ways to spice it up that have nothing to do with sex, though some of them may lead to sex, which is just fine too. Um, so it's time to experiment and explore and break down some barriers. So you want to write a card to that effect, something that says, you know, I've, I've so am loving getting to know you and I want to get to know more of you. Why don't we do something a little sexy and wild and adventurous? Then you can give him the book, The Five Love Languages. This is an essential for all new serious couples. If you haven't read it, you need to. It helps you to understand how to love each other and the way that you feel love. The idea is that you might be showing love the way that you think they want to feel it, but they're not feeling it because it's the wrong way. Then make a lasting impression. Literally, get naked and roll around in paint, leaving your prints on a gigantic piece of paper. The outcome can be clear images of your bodies, or you can be a little bit more discreet and get a little more crazy and artistic, and it'll be an image of your entwined bodies while maybe even making love. It'll be your own little secret that you have this big painting that looks like a really interesting impressionist painting, and it's actually your naked bodies. So that is this Love is art, and it comes with everything that you need. So it comes with all of the materials so that you're safe and clean. It has a large plastic sheet to protect the floor, white cotton canvas, which is what you're going to end up doing your painting on, non-toxic paint, and even two pairs of disposable booties so that you can walk to the shower and clean up after. You might also want to get robes. That would be a cute gift to also put under the tree. I got this from thegrommet.com. They have cool stuff. Um, okay. Then you want to give a stocking, right? So to anyone who you're dating, a stocking is a really nice thing filled with little symbols that you care, that you pay attention, that you get him, that you encourage his happiness. You want the stocking to be personalized. So this is a stocking of a black lab and maybe he his first dog was a black lab and it's super emotional for him. Then for the handy guy, this is uh, a stepless tool ratchet. And uh, that kind of a guy would get it. It makes doing any of those things really easy. I, I am obviously not that kind of a girl. So that guy will get it. Another thing that you can do is the love game. These are 36 questions for falling, um, for falling or falling deeper in love. And it's a very cool way to expand your relationship and communicate even better. You can also do these uh, adorable out-of-print socks. So if he is um, very into literature or if he's a little bit older <laughs> and he loves socks, uh, this, it's old library cards. Then there's also different types of books. This is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which I happen to love. So cute thing. For the guy who you're ready for something real with, something real for real, you want to move in together. You're talking about possibly getting engaged. Well. You want to make sure that you show him that you're really ready to move on into the future with him and move out of any past stuff. And then also, in addition to the gift, it's going to be the experience. So how about a night in bed? And you have 101 Nights of Great Sex, which are little enveloped um, or sealed experiences and also a mattress. Get a new mattress. Yes, I'm not kidding. A new mattress makes you have a clean slate. Um, I got a new mattress from Brentwood Home. It's honestly the best mattress I've ever experienced. I don't even know how that's possible. They shipped it to my house in this box and the mattress expanded on my bed and it was amazing. And it's a great, fresh, clean start. Then you want to break in the mattress with the experiences from 101 Nights of Great Sex. So the card. Okay, what you're going to do in the card is list all of the things that you love about him and why. 
It's the why that makes this card meaningful. It's not just that he buys you watermelon gum every time he's at the gas station. What that shows is that he thinks about you even when you're not there. And not only does he think about you, but he shows you that you were on his mind because he thought to get out of his car and buy your favorite childhood gum flavor that brings out that fun side of you, that careful, that carefree, not careful, carefree, youthful side of you that only he has the ability to bring out. So list about five items that includes the why. Then tell him that you want to move forward into your futures together, your long time love. You want to give a gift that's sentimental, something that's different, something that will show him that you love you too, you two together, and that your memories are precious to you, and something that says that you want to make more memories together. So the card. The card will start with a list of vacation memories. Don't just list locations. Actually write out one or two sentences describing a particularly memorable moment from several different trips. Then finish it by describing your next trip which you already booked for whatever weekend, or include a custom gift card for an Airbnb um, or some other hotel saying that this is where your next couple memory-making adventure awaits. So that's the card. Then the wrapped gift. This is gifted custom art. So remember that time when you two went on a camping trip? and your black lab went with you, and the three of you were exploring the tide pools and you got in trouble for having the dog and a beer on the beach, you took a photo of that moment, right? And you have that photo and it always makes you smile. Well, turn that photo into a painting with paint by numbers. Remember, like you used to do when you were a kid. So then you send the photo to gifted custom art. This is an example. This is obviously not my dog and boyfriend and me. This is my mom and my son. But it's to show you how amazing it can be. So paint by numbers makes painting so easily. Like they just, you send the photo and they send back a print with numbers on it. And then all of the paint and the, the canvas and everything that you need in order to make Make your own amazing personalized gift and this is something that you can then put on the wall and it looks like you actually have painting ability which I don't so this is pretty for me impressive that it looks like I actually painted something good so those are just a few ideas on how to be a better gift giver giving something that's thoughtful and threefold the actual gift a card and then an experience I hope I've inspired you and allowed you to think of some special things that you can give for that special person in your life. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.